So is he coming or what? He'll be here. I hope. He's gonna straighten this all out. He wants his money. What money, man? He says you have money. He wants it. Bobby, if I had any freaking money, I would have given it to you the first time you hit me. All right? You know? Charlie, hey, what's going on, man? Hey. Who no! are you? Here's what you're gonna do, unless you wanna lose your other ear. Hmm? What's that? No! You're gonna sign over everything you have to us. Now, what is everything? Everything means everything. Everywhere you happen to look. Oh, there's a house. That must be part of everything. We'll take that. Is that a car outside? We'll take that too. Everything. I want that money that you owe me, and if you don't pay me what you owe me, then I'll pay you what you owe me. Okay. 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 That's the house. That's the car. That's all I got. I, I swear. There's no money. That's it, man. Oh. We ain't gonna get nothing out of him. Well, we can't just leave him there. He'll call the police. Well, you know what to do. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. No. Being in a movie. <laughs> yeah, Charlie has a deal with the owner, and we help him run the place. 
There's about 25 of us here all together. Charlie takes real good care of us. He's like our savior. When do I meet Charlie? I don't know. And don't ask. He'll find you. Thanks for telling me about this place, Gypsy. I had nowhere else to go. Sure. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Zadie, Katie, Paul. Hey. And Tex over there. What's your name? Tanya. She's beautiful. Thank you. We'll see you at dinner. Don't worry, she'll be with all the other kids. See, Charlie wants all the children raised by everybody, not just the mother or the father. He says that that's how we get rid of the ego that parents put in their kids. Come on. Bye. Hey, George. <laughs> hey, Squeaky. Hi. This here is Linda. Howdy. She's going to be staying with us. Linda, this is George Spawn. He's the owner of the ranch. And this is Squeaky. She's like a senior dog. Um, I, I wanted a few things out of that. Oh, what's yours is ours. And what's ours is yours. Do you have any credit cards? No. Driver's license? Yeah. I wanted that picture of my mother. No, you don't. Welcome to the family. <laughs> yeah. Man, I guess. I guess I used that one up too, didn't I? Listen, I can play, man. I can play. I just, I'm not used to uh, all these uh, oh, microphone type things pointing Dennis? to where you play, man. Where'd you find this guy? He found me. Let him and his pack live with me for a while. It got too crazy, though. Kicked him out? I had to move out. Bought a new house. My manager got rid of him eventually. Give him some happy right now. <laughs> Has he done anything? Yeah, he put one of his songs on a 2020 album. B-side of a single. Didn't make much noise. Oh, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Was he really in prison? Major. Got out a couple years ago. Is he dangerous? Look at his eyes, you tell me. People will love him for that alone. Hey, yeah, listen, let me explain something to you, man. See, I wrote about a couple hundred songs, you know, and then I get down here and I just, you know, kind of forgot, so I got to Charlie, start... this is Terry Melcher. He manages some great bands. I heard a lot about you, Charlie. Oh, man, man. I wish someone would have let me know that you were coming down, man. This is what I'm trying to do, man. See, I'm just trying to take that sound and kind of stretch it out. So maybe we could uh, come play it back and look in there and see if there's something that kind of looks like a song in there. And, and get it out, man, because I got to get an album out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the rush, Charlie? How about I got plans? I got a message. How about you know what I got, man? You know what I'm t talking about. And you know, uh, wouldn't it be nice, as you would say, Mr. Beach Boy, if I didn't have any of my words changed this time? We made your song better, Charlie. Oh, no. See, you made my song bomb. See, you, you only had the B right there, Beach Boy. You know, by the way, uh, the official title of that song, you know, we like to call that uh, Dennis Wilson is, is a real wussy. Whoa. He'd think he'd be happy having a tune on a Beach Boys album, but not Charlie. Look, I'll tell you what. We'll get some people together. We'll have them out to the ranch. You can play. You can see what you're all about. Well, what kind of people are you talking about? I mean, record type guys? Yeah, absolutely. You can tell them some of your prison stories. They'll love that. And maybe Terry will come. Uh, if I can. Um, don't count on it. Nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm gonna count okay. on absolutely. No, don't count on it. Well, well, if I could. How about absolutely? I'll uh, we'll take care of kids. How about absolutely, uh, 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 I got a busy week. bring them contracts? <laughs> well, I heard something about, what was it, uh, Thursday? <laughs> His friends missed him at some bagpipe parade in Santa Monica. Bagpipe parade? Well, I could certainly explain getting stabbed to death. ID? Uh, Gary Hinman, music teacher, 
multiple stab wounds in the chest, and his left ear has been cut off. Oh, yeah, and the neighbor says his car is missing. Is that blood? It's being tested, but yeah, it is. Black Panthers? such thing as that word here. Why is bad? Why don't belong here? Why is just only things in the man? How come you don't know that? She just came today, Charlie. Well, why don't you tell me about it? I split up with my husband. <clears throat> Actually, he dumped us. Me and my daughter. We were all going to go down to South America. Where you been living? Well, we were staying in some pretty cool communes in New Mexico, and when we came down here. So what are you looking for, woman? Hmm? Wait, let me think. Uh, Jesus, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> you looking for old JC? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Well, if you're looking to do your looking around here, excuse me, darling, you're gonna have to bring us something. Bring you what? Well, I don't know. You gotta look around you. And don't look from here, you gotta look from right here. Look out there, look at the people you know, you see them out there. What do they have? Look at all they have and ask yourself from here, you really think they need all that? All those dollar bills and all them cars, candy. So let your heart bring us something that will show us your heart. <laughs> we met the Beach Boys today. One of the Beach Boys. Dennis Wilson. Is that the one that sings real high? <laughs> they all sing real high, say. Uh, what was a beach boy, anyway? Who was the other guy? Doris Day's son. Really? Terry Melcher. He's a big record producer. Him and Dennis Wilson are going to make Charlie a star. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think we should get Doris Day to come out here for a few days. She'll forget all about Rock Hudson. <laughs> that thought that you're carrying, the one about your father, is a very heavy thought. And it's still holding you back because you're still giving it the reins. That's my stepfather. He hates me. How did you know? Well, you can't hide from me, you see. I, I 
feel disposable. I mean, my husband, my father. I don't really fit anywhere. Well, how long are you going to keep playing your part in their game? Your disposable role in the game that they're playing with your life. You, you're not disposable. Look at you. You're valuable. You're the most valuable and perfect thing in this world. You don't mean that. You think I don't know what it feels like to be looked through, to be thrown away? That's why we take care of each other. See, I know who you are. I can see you inside now. All oh, your beauty, all of your own beauty, you see. Now, can you see mine? So. Come to now. Now where I am your husband now. Where I am your father now. Where I swear to you, you, you will never, never be thrown away again. I feel like you can see inside me. See them, please. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands on the hood. Do you know you're driving a dead guy's car? Charlie, <laughs> Linda has something she wants to give to you. It's $5,000 I took from my ex-husband's friend. The first time I ever stole anything. I did it for you.
here say they took my watch they just heard the phone ring so i picked it up did he say anything else just that he was gonna stay quiet what are you guys talking about bobby got arrested yesterday in gary's car does charlie know whoa he ain't coming charlie i thought he would be here with all them record type guys well i don't see him do you you remember where he lives? Yeah. Dropped him off that night in Dennis's car. Well, let's go. Sharon, you're surrounded by people all the time on the movie set. Don't you want some privacy? I don't want to argue with you about it. Look, you were nice enough to let us stay here while you were in Europe, but I... There is plenty of room for both of you. <sighs> but when Roman gets home, you should have the place to yourself again. Roman loves you and Wojciech. He wants you to stay. And I love Roman's movies, and I would never do anything to upset him. So, wherefore, we'll stay. <laughs> Therefore, your English is My awful. English gets better by the day. And soon it will all train yours, and people will think that I am the rich earth. Oh, hell, your English gets better by the hour. Mm. Well, Roman sure does love a crowd. He doesn't mind Jay spending so much time here? Oh, Jay and I are over. Roman knows that. But does Jay know that? Jay is... Jay. <laughs> oh, that might be Roman's trunks. This late?
soul? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there. I'm looking for Terry. Who? Terry. Terry Melcher. Terry now. Melcher? <laughs> he doesn't live here for months anymore. Terry doesn't live here anymore. That is what I just said. Who are you to come to the gate like that? Terry! Hey! I said there's old Terry, Terry here! Terry! Hey! Terry, Terry, Terry! Hey! Who is it? Nobody. No Melcher here. Good night. If nobody orders french fries an hour after they're made, they throw them out. It's like a law or something. How's this? Oh, excellent. Trottage. I don't know what we're going to do when we get to the desert. I guess Charlie's got it figured out. Is Charlie really taking us to the desert? Yep. After Helter Skelter comes down. What's that? Charlie only talks about it with the guys, but I know it's going to be a war between the blacks and the whites, and the blacks are going to start it, but we'll be in the desert by then. How long have you known Charlie? Oh, I lived with Soul in San Francisco on the hate. I was dancing in a booby bar, <laughs> and I met him on the street. He sang songs to me. I would love to hear him sing gave me the name Sadie. You're in love with him already. Aren't you? Charlie is love. I once saw him pick up a dead bird and breathe on it and the bird flew away. He changes you. Before I met him I was like totally lost. I didn't even know what I was here for. I hated everybody and now I love everybody. That's what Charlie gave me. It's what he gives everybody. He just fills up the empty spaces. <laughs> Do you know he's Jesus? Charlie. Hey, man. Knock, okay? Nobody showed. Nobody showed. We waited. And we waited. What the hell are you talking about, Charlie? Let's see now, when was that? Oh, Thursday, yes, someone. Someone was supposed to be coming by Thursday. Well, no one made any promises, man. Talk to Melcher again about it if you think that'll help. Oh, Melcher, yeah, that was his name. Well, I can't get to him, Dennis. So here I am again. Here I am as your brother, once again, asking you, can, would, would you call him? from me again. I'll give him one more chance. Be no problem. Look, I did what I could. I got you on tape, didn't I? Well, yeah, maybe you got me on a, a demo tape, man, but where is the deal? Where is the album? Where's that album you know I gotta get out? What do you want me to do, Charlie? How about doing what you said you'd do, Mr. Beach Boy? I didn't make any promises. Maybe you scared Melcher away. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a new song for you. It's called, uh, I Need $1,500. Forget it, man. You cost me thousands already. I had to move out of my house because you guys wrecked it. The way I see it, you thought you'd take my music. My music, tied up in a little Beach Boys bow, turn around and say, Oh, Charlie, no, no, you don't have any money coming. You don't have any money come. Is that right? What the hell is this? That's for you. No, 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 you go ahead. You you take that. And every time you look at that, I just want you to think, oh, that's right. Isn't it nice that I'm still alive? 
Hey, I tried to help you, man. Is that my fault that everyone thinks you're some ungrateful ex-con pimp novelty act? Melter doesn't want to have anything to do with you either, Charlie. Just stay the hell away from all of us. How do we get everybody to the bottom of this pit, Charlie? Oh, how do we get to the bottom of this pit? Oh, how do we get to the bottom of this pit? Oh, how do we get? We're gonna build a road right through Devil's Canyon. By then, we'll have enough dune buggies and everything else will be ready. When is Helter Skelter gonna start? Well, that's what the Beatles have been trying to tell us. That's a message they want me to get out of my album. Now I gotta find another way to get it started. Still getting Bobby out of jail, Charlie? giving her what she wants. Tex, meet me in the saloon after dinner. It's time. Time for you to take little Blackie by the hand and show him how to kill some piggies. I want you to go on up to where Terry Meltzer used to live. They got movie stars there now. Kill everybody in the house. Gruesome as you can. Sadie, Linda, Kitty. You're gonna go with Tex and do what he tells you to do, okay? Now is the time. Elder Scout. I want you to wrap these in a rag. We get stopped and throw them out. Well, we're just going on a creepy crawl, right? Oh, definitely. Here. Hold up. I want you to leave a sign, okay? You girls know what to write. Something witchy. And when you're home for your birthday? Maybe Tuesday. Yeah. If I can get the visa. Why? <laughs> what do you have planned for my birthday? Some. Uh... You'll see. Not till you. Okay, be like that. Don't tell me, huh? I enrolled you in class. What? <laughs> Expecting father's class? Oh, <laughs> please. Don't make no, me do it. You love it. What are you doing tonight? Um, Gibby and Wojciech are still here. And Jay just came by, oh, so. Oh, my competition. Never. You have no competition, you know that. I know this. I know this baby. You lonely over there? Lonely for you? That's all. Really? It's all? I only want to play with you. And my boy. Call me tomorrow? Of course. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Uh, is Roman on his way? As soon as he gets his visa. Probably Tuesday. I have to get some sleep. I'm flying up to my mom's for her birthday in the morning. Oh. I can't tell you how sorry I am to miss that. <laughs> I know. It's much more important for you to sleep late and test the pool temperature. Bill, 
How's life as a caretaker treating you? Oh yeah, really glamorous. I can only stay a few minutes, man. You want a drink? Oh yeah, sure. So, you ever see Sharon Tate out by the pool? It's supposed to break Monday. Roman will miss it, lucky guy. Mm. Do you think Roman knows how lucky he is? He knows we're both lucky. We were almost lucky once, weren't we? I wonder... Jay, don't. Just, just don't. I'm just being theoretical. Mm -hmm. When we were together in London... Have you ever wondered what would have happened if I had never come back to L.A. when I did? What would have happened if you'd never met Roman? What would happen if fish could fly? When fishes can fly <laughs> and seas do run dry <laughs> Tis then that you'll marry I <laughs> Listen to me <laughs> I must be drunk. You better not drive home tonight. Oh no, uh, don't hurt me. I Inside, see if there's an open door or window. There's nothing open. Go back and wait by the car.
Linda! Give me your knife. Listen for sounds. you're doing you don't do anything unless I tell you to move over oh my head is killing me that son of a bitch wouldn't let go of my hair I thought my hand was gonna break every time I hit bone with that damn knife real messy. There were bodies lying all over the place. But everyone's dead. Do you have any remorse? Go to bed and don't say anything to the others. What's the matter? 
strip must be ruined no, 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 again. No, no, nothing we can't see in the last scene. Nothing makes any sense. This is just a mystery to me, okay? No, 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 to have dolphins talking to each other like humans. I mean, the audience is going to laugh at us, okay? It's stupid. Yes? Oh, hi, Bill. How are you? Which house? What are you? Shockwaves all over the Southland as the five victims of the Bel Air slayings have been identified. They are Stephen Earl Parent, 18, who was visiting the caretaker on the property, Wojciech Frankowski, 32, Abigail Folger, the Folger Coffee heiress, 25, Jay Sebring, 35, famous hairstylist to the stars, and actress Sharon Tate, star of the movie Valley of the Dolls, wife of film director Roman Polanski, and eight months pregnant with their child. Polanski was not in the house last night as he is in London yeah. working on a film. Detectives on the scene commented that the murders appear to be ritualistic. Woo, woo. Details are sketchy, but the caretaker, William Garrison, has been taken into custody. I just didn't expect it, that's all. I mean... God, it feels sick. I don't know what to do. You have to trust his soul. But how can this be right? It's what we have to do. But, but I mean, you didn't even know them. How could you do that? Doesn't it bother you? We know what they stand for. They're the man, they're the authority, right? They're part of the system that kills millions and they never even get their hands dirty. But they were young. They were like us. And she was pre she was pregnant. Look, death is just an illusion anyway. It's just a thought. It has no meaning. It's something you're doing for them, not to them. You really believe that? It's true. It's ugly, but it's true. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, I could never do it. You don't know that. You don't know what you can do. What anybody can do. You know what I feel? What? Hungry. <laughs> That's <No>. all. <laughs> Me too. You'll learn. The more you do it, the more you like it. <laughs> Don't cry for them. We released them. We made them come to now. Listen to what Charlie says. There's no good, no evil. Nothing is wrong, nothing is right. Charlie wouldn't take us as far to let us fail. There's a plan. You just can't know what it is yet. No sense makes sense. Remember that. Thomas Noguchi, Los Angeles County Coroner. This is August 9, 1969. Sharon Marie Polanski, female Caucasian, 26 years, 5'3", 135 pounds. Blonde hair, hazel eyes. Subject supine, arms parallel, legs extended. Hey, Jerry, you caught the tape case? Oh, yeah. Got my pockets filled up with this one. I'm gonna bring sheriffs to town. Uh, look, just so you know, last month, uh, we found a stiff out in Malibu, stabbed to death. And just like yours, there was something written on the wall in the Vic's blood, political piggy. At first, we thought it might be tied in with the Black Panthers, but then a few days later, we took in this hippie kid driving the Vic's car. We found the knife, blood on the clothes, all that. Prince all match. So what? He has to be in jail when my people got off. Well, we don't think he was the only one involved with our body. This kid was living up at Spawn Ranch, that movie place in Chatsworth. They got a commune or something, all these hippies. There's a guy who runs them. He says he's Jesus, as in Christ. 
Well, maybe there's something... Well, look, uh, thanks, guys, but we like drugs for this. Uh, burn, freak out something. We found coke and weed all over the house and in Sebring's car. Nice freaking Porsche, by the way. Clean pup. Well, these are similar kinds of murders, don't you think? Ton of stab wounds in both cases, messages left at both scenes, both printed in the Vic's blood, and in both there's the word pig. You guys do good work. Uh, if you don't hear from us in a week or so, that means we've squared everything away. Slow down a little. There's a kid on a pogo stick about to pass us. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. I can't do my usual 90 miles an hour trailing this thing behind me, now, can I? Yeah, stop torturing your father, Suzanne. Yeah, your mother needs no help in our top story okay. this hour. Police sources say drugs were found at the Tate murder scene. And detectives grilled prime suspect William Garretson today for several hours. But first, here's Chip with traffic and weather. Huh, it's unbelievable. Thank the you, world Randy. can come to an end. Well, they gotta do traffic and weather first. Those poor people. Can you imagine? The girl at the lake said they were all like devil worshippers or something. Yeah, I hate to say it, but you almost hope it is something like that. It's something that, that could explain it. Oh, please, Ro, I'm sick of hearing about it already. Oh, come on, Lino. It's a terrible thing that happened to those people. I know, I know, but uh, there must be something else that happened in the world today. Uh, I, I mean, did the war stop? Did... Uh, Nixon take the day off? I mean, something. What? You know, they said Roman Polanski's whole family was killed by the Nazis in Poland. All their fame, all their money. Look what happens. Bye, honey. Bye, sweetheart. We love you. Love you. I love you, too. Don't forget to lock your door. I won't. Bye. Last night, it wasn't cool last night. It was messy. Way too messy all the way around. So I'm gonna have to show you how it's done. I'm gonna split up in two groups tonight. I'm gonna have to jump start Helter Skelter. scared? Are you? Whatever will be, will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. What do you want? Okay, Tex, Katie, Leslie, you go inside. There's two people. Got them tied up in their car. All right. Now, last night, you let them people know that you were going to kill them. That's what caused all the panic, see? These people don't need to let them know nothing, okay? Just maintain, play it cool and casual, kind of like you live here, all right? All right, get your clothes. You go in there, and I want you to paint a painting for me. And the painting that I'm looking for is more gruesome than anybody's ever seen. That's the title of that painting, all right? All right. Hitchhike back to the ranch when you're done. Off you go.
Hey, why does your prince take the change? He do it now. you already I'm pregnant Charlie I'm not exactly sure who the father is that's, that's beautiful that's beautiful that's another life another life with no program no ego listen all your love needs all your love needs is you gotta trust trust yourself trust my love, come to now. Come to now where no sense suddenly makes sense. You see, no sense makes sense. No sense makes sense. No sense makes sense.
found the body of the stepfather about an hour ago. The mother's in the bedroom. Is that what I think it is? Yep. And, uh... Bathroom. Towels are wet. I think the killer took a shower. Then had a snack. In the wake of last night's brutal Benedict Canyon killings, there are two more murders to report tonight. Los Feliz residents Lino LaBianca, 44, and his wife Rosemary, 38, were found stabbed and mutilated in their home. Police at this hour have not confirmed whether or not the murders are connected. As the only suspect in the Tate murders, William Garrison was released after passing a polygraph. A second set of brutal ritual killings in as many days as the Los Angeles area caught in a vice grip of fear. We don't see any connection between this murder and the others. They're too widely removed. We just don't see any connection. But now we are treating these unrelated murders. Where are you going? Away. I'm taking Tanya. They won't let you go. Not now. I have to. I thought he was Jesus. So did I. But guess what? He's not. Don't have your baby here with these people. Get out. They'll hurt my parents. He knows where they live. I have to tell him, you know. I know. Why can't you just wait until we're gone? Just a few hours. Nothing. I, um, I just wanted to see if I could spend a little time alone with Tanya. <laughs> you strung out or what? Yeah, I guess so. You probably shouldn't be alone with her then. Charlie doesn't like that anyway. I know. Oh, looks like she's having fun. Leave her be.
go inside? Just for luck. May? all this on themselves. It's all sex and drugs with them. What do they expect? Me personally, I think it's all these weird movies Polanski makes. You see the one where uh, Mia Farrow gets uh, knocked up by the devil? In the meantime, Roman Polanski is so grief-stricken that he cannot speak and is near collapse. And get this, Polanski was out nightclubbing days later with a bunch of airline stewardesses. This is the kind of movie trash we're dealing with here. It was Polish secret police. They were after Roman for years because he defected from Poland. Sources close to the investigation say there had been a wild party here at the Tate House, attended by some of the biggest freaks and weirdos in Hollywood. I have to speak out against this multitude of slanders that you reporters write. For a selfish reason, you write. Unbearable for me. Terrible things about my wife. All of you know how beautiful she was, but only a few of you know how good she was. Sharon did not use dope. While she was pregnant, she wouldn't even have a glass of wine. There was no marriage trouble. There were no orgies. The last few years I spent with her were the only time of true happiness in my life. Now when the revolution starts, we'll go right over them Santa Susana mountains like a flock of birds and cut across the Mohawk. When Blackie starts slaughtering Whitey, we'll go clear to Death Valley without having to cross any highways. What about the pit? Well, we're gonna have to search for the entrance. I'll be able to really start seeing things, start tuning things in once we get out there. It's in, it's in Devil's Canyon, I know that, but it might be underwater, you see, so. Wait, wait, wait. Water in the desert? I'll take that by you again. Devil's Hole in Devil's Canyon, underwater. That's where I think the entrance is, Joe. Bottomless pit through Devil's Hole. I'm with you, Chuck. Do I look like a Chuck to you? But Chuck. Chuck. Hiya, Chuck. Is that what I look like to you? No. I don't. Died on the cross for you, of all things. Didn't do you much good, did it? By the end of the week, we should have everything moved up to Devil's Canyon. And we'll make a trail right to Devil's Hole. Charlie, Linda's gone. So is her stuff. Where's the kid? Here. No, it's okay, then. Kid's here, so she'll come here. And when she's here, we'll make her come to now.
your stolen vehicles, dune buggies, and firearms. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. The evidence for violations of Section 487.3 of the California Penal Code is deemed insufficient. In addition, it is found that the search warrant for the Spawn Ranch was executed two days prior to the raid and is therefore not legally in force. Dismissed. They got all the guns. Took all the cars, all the buggies. Took our credit cards and IDs. He cleaned us out. No matter. We'll steal some more starting tomorrow. Bruce, how are we doing at Barker? I got almost everything out there, Charlie. Half a dozen dune buggies and the big bus. And we're late for the desert. Just be ready. Hello? Gypsy, it's Linda. Where are you? I found my ex-husband. We're staying in New Mexico. I can't believe you left Tanya. I had to. I couldn't stay there another minute. I mean... Charlie wouldn't hurt a child, right? <laughs> Look, man, we got raided. All the kids were taken in by social services. You did the right thing, Kitty. Look, I, I don't understand what's happening. I just wanted to get away from Charlie. I didn't do anything wrong. Kitty, we're investigating the murder of Gary Hinman. Officer Purcell here called and told us you're Bobby Beausoleil's girlfriend. We're holding Beausoleil for the murder of Hinman. You know that, right? Kitty, were you there that day? No. We think you were, Kitty. We think you helped your boyfriend off Hinman. No. I swear. We know there were other people involved. 
you help us, you help yourself. Look, all I know is what I heard. Spit it out, Kitty. I heard that Charlie sent Bobby and Sadie to go see Hinman to get some money from him. There was like a fight and he got killed. And who's Sadie? Sadie May Glutz. She's one of Charlie's girls. And then uh, later on, Sadie told me something about how she and some other girls got in a fight with a guy who pulled her hair and she stabbed him like three or four times in the lake. So Eamon wouldn't give up the money? No. Nope. And he was going through some changes about losing his ear. And then Bobby stabbed him. He didn't want to die, though. That's for sure. We were on our way out. And we heard him all gurgling and moaning, so Bobby went back in and stabbed him again until he died. You wrote something on the wall? Yeah. And Bobby put a paw print there, too, so it looked like the Black Panthers did it. Your real name is Susan Atkins, right? Who's me? Charlie gave me the name Sadie, so that's who I am. Okie dokie. Well, uh... Sadie, Susan, whatever. Tell you what, we're just gonna go ahead and book you on suspicion of the murder of Gary Hinman. Far out. Familiar? Hell yeah. And you went to the Tate Detectives on this. The day after. They told us they had this figure for drugs, and that was that. Unbelievable. Hey, no offense, Sherlock, but you guys waited two months before you called us to see if we had any similar murders. What's the matter? LAPD don't need sheriffs? Knock it off. There's enough politics on this thing already. So we got Kitty, what's her face, implicating Manson in the Hinman murder, Sadie implicating herself, three separate murder scenes. Knives at all three. A savage stabbing, look at that crazy stabbing. Writing on the walls at all three scenes. All in the victim's blood, similar messages. One more thing. Sadie told Kitty that she got into a fight with a man who pulled her hair. She stabbed him three or four times in the leg. So? So Gary Hinman was not stabbed in the legs. But Wojciech Prakowski was. Mr. Manson, we're investigating the LaBianca homicides in Los Angeles, which I'm sure you've heard about. Anything you can tell us on that? No. How about the Tate homicides? You know anything about those? Well, no. Do you? Well, it's a steep learning curve, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Murders, my goodness, no, no, I don't know nothing about no murders. I'm being held for, let's see, alphabetically, arson and auto theft. But the where? people who were arrested with you, Mr. Master? Yeah, how about them? Where are they? Most have been released or bailed out. Think someone will show up with your bail? Well, you know, you never can tell about that, can you? Think anybody living with you on the ranch might know something? <sighs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You got a pen and paper? Gotcha good. Now, did you see how serious he took out that notepad? Did you see that? It's... That's funny. Yeah. Well, now, is 
there anything else I can do for you, gentlemen? Got a body. Pretty girl. Oh, look at you. You've got you so big. I miss you, I know. I don't know if I'd ever see you again. I'm sorry. You look different. What happened to you? What happened to you out there? I'm definitely not worried about the cops. I mean, they just suck. <laughs> stupid, man. If they're so stupid, why are we in here? They got me in the wrong murder. How's that for stupid? There's this case right now. They're so far off, they don't even know what's happening. What case? That thing up in Benedict Canyon. <gasps> Benedict Canyon? You don't mean Sharon Tate. Well, you know who did it, don't you? You're looking at her. <laughs> yeah, right. I did. There are three other people with us, but I killed the Polish guy. The paper said that it was uh, probably a drug thing or something. Papers worse than the cops. I heard one that said there were hoods on their heads. Stupid. There weren't any hoods. You're saying that you killed Sharon Tate and the others? We all did our fair share. I did step Sharon, though. Please don't kill me. I want to live. I want to have my baby. She was the last to die. She had to watch the others. I was gonna cut the baby out of her, but, well, it's a long story, but believe me, there's gonna be plenty more. We've already killed 11 people so far. We're gonna travel the whole country, and we're gonna kill families in all those little small towns, and then we're gonna move on, and we're gonna kill again, and it's all being planned. But anyway, when I was finished with Sharon, I had all this blood on my hands, so I tasted it. Wow, what a trip. I mean, to taste death, yet give life. Have you ever tasted blood? <laughs> You're a hard man to find, Joey. You gang guys that'll publish your own phone book, you know, a list of what street corners and flop houses you sleep in. What am I doing here? We talked to a girl who was in the Manson family. Said you were close to Charlie, knew a lot about what was going on. So? Let me tell you, Joey. We really like Manson and his group for those Tate LaBianca murders. You got something to help us with that? We'll help you back. Well, I'll tell you, the thing is, is this. Is I got a federal beef for smuggling weed into Mexico. And, uh, also got a firearms beef, which is fed too. Look, so. you level with us. We go out for you 100%. Poof, all gone. Okay. Let me ask you this. You ever get a dead body with his ear cut off? What about him? Charlie bragged to me one time about how he put the chop on some guy. And then he used a saw to cut his ear off. Give me some more. Okay. Um, was there anybody ever got their fridge rolled on? Charlie was saying something about someone writing something on a refrigerator. In blood, he said. What was it? Something about pigs. Something like that. You remember anything about the night of August 8th? It's hard because they didn't have any uh, calendars in there, no clocks either. But it was just one night everybody went out. You got to give me a date. It was about two weeks before I got arrested at the ranch. So I seen Charlie in the morning and uh, I says to him, where did everybody go last night? And uh, he says, we knocked off five pigs last night.
pleased to be able to announce to you that after some 8,750 hours of police work, the Los Angeles Police Department has solved the Tate case. Warrants have been issued for the arrest of three individuals. Charles Tex Watson, 24, who fled the state after the murders and is now in custody in McKinney, Texas. Patricia Krenwinkel, 21, also known as Katie, who is currently in custody. And Linda Kasabian, age and present whereabouts unknown. We anticipate at least two other people will be named in indictments from the grand jury. Uh, these individuals, we believe, were also involved in the deaths of Rosemary and Lino LaBianca. Vincent Bugliosi, Deputy DA. Please meet Susan Atkins. Accused murderess. Miss Atkins. Sadie. Of course. Your lawyer explained to you that the state of California is offering you a reduced sentence based on your truthful testimony. He said I didn't have much choice. Told me you're not too happy about it either. He'd be right about that. How come? Well, Sadie, according to your statement, you helped kill Gary Hinman. And you personally stabbed Sharon Tate. You wouldn't be my first choice for a reduced sentence. Boss is upstairs, right? Something like that. <laughs> Bummer. Well, what do you want me to do? First you testify to the grand jury. Then at the trial. I heard them say you're the prosecutor with heart. Is that true? I doubt it. My lawyer says you're the biggest gun in the DA's office. That's why they assigned you. Says you won 20 murder trials in a row? I came to talk about you, Sadie. You know, Charlie's looking at us right now and he can hear everything we're saying. Charlie's in jail up in Inyo. I liked it better when we were talking about you. Would you kill for Charlie? You want to kill us, don't you? You want to give us the death penalty? You're just a right-wing Republican like Nixon who wants to see us all die. Do you believe Charles Matson is Jesus Christ? He's my personal savior. Besides, he has to be who he says he is. Why? Because if he isn't, then who are we then? Nothing? No. He's the soul. No doubt about it. Tell me what happened those nights. Tell me what went on in those houses. Miss Atkins, I have here a photograph of the Rambler driven by Stephen Parent that night. Is this the car you saw? It looked similar to it, yes. Is this the person you saw Tex Watson shoot and kill? That is the thing I saw in the car. When you say thing, you are referring to a human being? Yes, human being. After you helped Tex move the car, you approached the house? Time is it? Be quiet. Don't move or you're dead. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm the devil. And I'm here to do the devil's business. Check for anybody else. Three 
more people. I don't understand these. What, what, what do you want? Go get them. Don't say a word. Get up and go into the living room. Go! Oh, I get shit. What? Get up and go into the living room. Don't ask any questions, just do what I say. Stomach's on the floor. Can't you see that she's pregnant? Let her sit down. <laughs> Shut up. Who's got money? Uh, I do. In my bedroom. Do you want the credit cards? No. <laughs> what are you going to do? For the record, Stephen Parent was shot four times. 
Jay Sebring was shot once and stabbed seven times. Wojciech Frakowski was shot twice, struck over the head with a blunt object 13 times and stabbed 51 times. Abigail Folger was stabbed 28 times. Sharon Tate was stabbed 16 times. All right. I'll be out there before the baby's born, as soon as I can get the money together. You'll be okay with Tonya? I know what it's like to have a little baby girl. What are they gonna do to me, Mom? Come on, let's go. Don't come in with me. Please. So how many lifetimes do you think you can hold me for arson and auto theft? Ms. Atkins? You're at the La Bianca house. And Manson just said he had the people tied up and... Right, and then Charlie told Tex, Katie, and Leslie to go inside. Tex Watson, Patricia Krenwinkel. And Leslie Van Houten? Yes. Did you go inside? No. Do you know what happened at 3301 Waverly Drive? Yes. How? Katie told me that night when she got back to the ranch.
指你啊！你 Charlie ever use the words "helter skelter"? Yes. What does "helter skelter" mean to you and the family? "Helter skelter" will be the last war on the face of the earth. It'll be all the wars that have ever been fought, built one on top of the other, something no man can conceive of in his imagination. For the record, Mr. Foreman, Mina Labianca had 12 stab wounds, plus 14 puncture wounds made by a double-tined fork. Rosemary Labianca had 41 separate stab wounds. That's all for this witness. The Los Angeles County Grand Jury has returned the following indictments: Charles Manson, Charles Tex Watson, Patricia Katie Krenwinkel, Susan Sadie Atkins, and Linda Kasabian. For seven counts of murder and one count of conspiracy to commit murder each, Leslie Van Houten, two counts of murder and one count of conspiracy to commit murder. We look forward to going to trial on this case. Thank you. What are you doing here, Dad? Keep you safe in here. Sure. Safe. Is it true? Did you do these things? Why does it matter? Was it something I didn't do? Did you know that I love you, Pat? Didn't I show it? What did I do wrong? Find yourself for your father. All is love, all is none, all is one. Time to grow, time from behind you. The illusion has been just a dream. The valley of death, and I'll find you. Now is when on a sunshine beam. So bring all the young confessions, for their lives will surely be no clubs can fear a hunger. Defense requests a postponement until December 22nd to enter a plea. Do the people object? No, Your Honor. The people rejoice. We need all the time we can get. Okay, motion granted. Let's have all parties back here December 22nd, 9 a.m. sharp. That never happened before. We What? need all the paperwork. We I watched that. I mean that, Jeff. Did the night before. Now, <clears throat> Mr. Manson, I understand you have a personal request of the court. Uh, Judge, uh, I would like to have my public defender dismissed. You see, 'cause I don't know what crowd he's playing for, but I'm playing for my life.、Uh, I think he might be playing for money, but I'm playing for keeps, and that's something you can't buy. So I'm gonna have to defend myself. Interesting, but I don't know if you're competent to proceed in proper. 
Well, Your Honor, how can your court expect me to give up my voice in this matter if I can't speak in my own defense and ties my hands way behind my back, ties my hands back to China? You see? You'd be making a huge mistake, Mr. Manson. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you say here to for we let the record reflect and remind us that it is my right? Mr. Manson, I'm imploring you not to take this step. And I am imploring you that I would like to represent myself. It's the only way. It is, in the opinion of this court, a sad and tragic mistake you're making by taking this action, but I can't talk you out of it, Mr. Manson. You're your own attorney. This case is adjourned until December 22nd. Uh, all right. Will counsel for Driscoll versus California please approach the bank? No. Charlie, what's the matter? Are you scared of me? Ah, uh, no, not really. I kind of think you're a pretty fair man. I want to give you a fair trial, Charlie. But I am going to convict you. I'm really looking forward to talking to you on the witness stand. I suppose you're going to tell me how come. There's a lot of things I'm curious about. Like what? Well, for one thing, I'd really like to know where you get the crazy idea that other people don't want to live. with Charlie Manson the first time I saw his cherub face and sparkling eyes on TV. His words and courage inspire us. We think Charles Manson is really like the death of the hippie. I mean, this guy doesn't stand for anything that we believe in, but we're totally lumped in with him and his psycho family. Whoa, whoa, man! I ain't no hippie, man. I hate the hippie. So how can I be a hippie if I hate the hippie, man? See that? I'm trying to push that off of me, man. See, I never wanted to be a hippie because I never wanted to be weak. Weak, that's right. Weak like a old flower power. Smile on your brother. Live and let live and all that. That's that crap. A thousand illusions, man. It's an excuse for not facing the truth of life. Well, I know the truth of life. And brother, I am not afraid to face it. I am not afraid to inflict it. The sheriff's office says half a dozen kids a day show up at Spawn to join the family. Great. Girl Scouts in the 4 Club must be taking a huge hit. Manson is more powerful behind bars than he was out. Listen to this. Tex Watson, sports editor for his high school yearbook. Patricia Krenwinkel, campfire girl, member of the Audubon Society. Leslie Van Houten, treasurer of her high school, homecoming princess, sang in the church choir. How do these kids end up stabbing people with knives and forks 169 times? Drugs? Who knows? The why is not our problem. We don't have to prove motive. But in this one, without the why, we don't have a case against Manson. Now, if Manson had actually participated in these murders, if he was actually there, then the motive would be irrelevant. Could be about Dodger tickets, it wouldn't matter because he was there and he did it. But he wasn't there. He didn't personally kill anyone, but he ordered them to be killed. Now. 
If we can't prove why he would order anyone else to commit these murders, that's a reasonable doubt case. So why did he order them? Everyone says Manson talked about a war called Helter Skelter. He mentioned it to the murderers before they left for Tate, and it was written on the refrigerator at La Bianca. Miss Bell. Probably just stupidity. We're not talking about Rhodes Scholars here. But if we can tie this Helter Skelter idea to the murders, and then tie Manton to the words Helter Skelter written at the crime scene, that's the same as finding his fingerprints. Sounds like a stretch to me. Aaron, if we only nail Tex and the girls and not Manson, this will not be a successful prosecution. This is going to ruin my reputation. Being seen with a guy in a suit. My leathers are all being cleaned. Right. Joey, what can you tell me about Health of Skelter? Charlie got all his beliefs from two places. The Bible and the Beatles. The White Up. I can't believe the Beatles are talking directly to him. The, the Beatles talking to you? You say you got a real solution. Well, you know, we'd all love to see the plan. There it is right there. Who you think they're talking to? Revolution number nine. Take that by you again. Revolution number nine. They're, they're telling me to look where? Where? In your Bible? In the Bible, man. In the Bible. Check it out. Check it out. Revelation number nine. See the part about the four angels. Four angels. Their faces were as the faces of men. They had hair as the hair of women. Now, who do you think they're talking about? You see, your mother in Russia talking about the Beatles, man. Out of the mouths of the four angels issued fire and brimstone. Now, breastplates of iron. Hey, see that? Breastplates of iron. Well, now, Oh, electric guitars. Read verse 15. <clears throat> and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Helter Skelter. One third of mankind will die. Whitey. All of Whitey is that one third. And everybody believes us. The whole family. Hook, line, and sinker, man. They used to spend days in the desert looking for the hole that led to the bottomless pit. You know... They know where to hide out when Helter Skelter started. Did Manson ever say anything to you that made you feel Helter Skelter was tied into the Tate LaBianca killings? Not at the time, but looking back on it, you know. I don't know, Joey. There was this feeling on the ranch, like people getting impatient, Charlie especially. When was this Helter Skelter going to start, right? And then one day, right before the cops raided spawn and arrested everybody. What, after the murders? Right. I went up to Charlie and I says, what's with Health to Skelter, man? You know, like, kidding around with him? I'd still black out and do it. So Health to Skelter is a race war. The blacks will destroy the whites. Except for Charlie and the family because they'll be hiding in the desert. So he orders the Te Labianca killings thinking blacks will be blamed, and that will start the war. That's Helter Skelter, man. I still got one thing. What does Manson get out of it? Is he just a swell guy who wants to help out the black man? Hell no. Charlie hates blacks. He hates Jews. He even hates women. He once told me that women were slaves with no souls. Whatever it is, it ain't for the benefit of mankind, for the benefit of Charlie. How? How does it benefit? I don't know. Who was it? Paul Watkins. He left the ranch right before the murder started, but uh, he spent a lot of time with Charlie in the desert. You think you know Manson better than the others? I lived with him for one year straight. I know Charlie. I became Charlie. Everything that I once was, was Charlie. There was nothing left of me anymore. And all the people in the family, there's nothing left of them anymore. They're all Charlie, too. You seem like a solid guy, Paul, a smart guy. Why did you stay so long? I thought Charlie was Christ. What did he tell you about Helter Skelter? 
Helter Skelter. Stay with me now. Helter Skelter begins with a black man going in the white people's homes, ripping them off, killing them off, and Blackie will wipe out Whitey. Cut up piggy bodies, take that piggy blood, put it all over all the piggy walls. Now I got an idea this might make the white man a little unhappy. There will be revolution, there will be revelation, Blackie will rise. Oh, and bye-bye Whitey, then Blackie will be on top. In the meantime, we, you and me, we, we will be hiding all the wiser in the desert, the bottomless pit. Oh, but what did I tell you? about Blackie having himself a little problem. See, Blackie's gonna find out. Oh, no! He can only do what the white man taught him how to do. He can only do what the white man would let him. And I'll say, I'll scratch Blackie's little head like that, his fearful, fuzzy head, and I'll say, that's all right. That's all right. You just, you just go on over there. Do whatever it is you think is useful. And then the black man, even without Whitey, the black man will be right back where he will always be. And it'll be my world then. My world. So Manson was going to rule the planet. <laughs> the thing about Charlie is he was always preaching love. But Charlie had no idea what love was. But Charlie was so far from love, it wasn't even funny. Death is Charlie's trip. It really is. More fan mail, Charlie. It's a love mail, man. These are people who know what's right. Let me know if you get any naked pictures. Rag 11! You got to visit. You know, the, the pigs here aren't real bad, man. Uh, they're just real dumb. <laughs> so I just, I play a little dumber, and they start thinking they're pretty smart. And the dumber they think you are, the better they feel. And the more they let you slide. <laughs> so you gonna beat this thing, Charlie? Well, what do you think they got, man? I wasn't there, so they can't time it anything. So they got nothing, right? And no matter what them girls take the rap, you don't worry about it. You just make sure that everybody at the ranch, huh? Or you know what to do about it. What, what about Sadie? Oh, you mean, uh, that <laughs> stupid bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shut her up. Uh, Your Honor, the sheriff and, uh, the DA he's sitting somewhere over there. Uh, they are denying me my rights. Would you believe that? Mr. Bugliosi and Mr. Stovitz have been very fair with you, Mr. Manson. Well, but see, now, I was gonna ask him, uh, if he wouldn't mind just calling the whole thing off. I think it might save us a whole lot of trouble. And disappoint all these people? Never, Mr. Manson. Good one, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but for example, okay, if, if, if I am to properly mount a proper type of defense, it behooves me to be able to interview Linda Kasabian and Sadie Mae Lutz, but their lawyers, oh, they are denying me too. Would you believe that? They have that right. Well, see, but I got this message now. Uh, see, Sadie says that the DA over there uh, made her say everything she said. So therefore, she would like very much to, to, what, what, what is the word there? I give up. What is the word? Bugliosi, can you help me out? Recant? That's it. She would like to recant the whole crazy confession. She's not going to testify. Now, one more motion. Where's my motion? Here's, here's my motion. Okay. Charles Manson, also known as Jesus Christ, prisoner and the family of the infinite soul, are filing this motion on behalf of Manson Christ, charging that the sheriff is depriving me of my every last spiritual, mental, physical, and molecular liberty in an inconstitutional manner, not in harmony with man's or God's law, asking that I be released as of Right on, Charlie. Here to fourth, fourth width and all that right about now. Mr. Manson, you're wasting the court's time. Is that a no, Your Honor? I am appalled at your <laughs> outlandish requests and nonsensical motions. 
it is abundantly clear to me that you're incapable of acting as your own lawyer. Well, Your Honor, if there was any Christian justice, someone would cut your head off. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can kill me now. Come on, kill me right now. Yeah, oh yeah, you can kill me. Oh yes, you can. But no, 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 you can't give me no attorney. Yeah, you think I'm on trial? Well, this court is on trial. This court is out of order. This court is out of God. Mr. Manson, your status as your own attorney is now vacated. Mr. Manson. Oh, my gosh. Must be a big old man. Get you shot. tries to pass himself off as an innocent buffoon in the courtroom, but he's completely controlling the defense. And now we got the Sadie. What's happening with Tex Watson? Still in jail in Texas, fighting extradition. We're looking at a separate trial for him, for sure. They're just trying to cheer me up. I can't believe this. We've got Manson tied to help the Skelter. We've got the motive. But with no witness, we're dead in the water. When can I talk to somebody? Not just yet. I have to get rid of this. I can't keep this inside. We have to wait. Let them offer you a deal. I just want to tell it. You will go to prison, Linda. This prosecutor is very, very good. And he's seeking the death penalty. I don't care about that. You saw and heard things that will help put those people away. But you didn't hurt anyone. They will give you immunity if we ask for it. They need you now. Believe me. Let me call Bugliosi and talk to him about immunity.
You wanted to say something to me, Charlie? I'm a busy man these days, with the trial starting tomorrow. Well, I just wanted to let you know I don't really care about any of this. I have x myself from your world. Because, see, in your world, you think I'm bad, or whatever it is you need me to be for you. But in my world, I don't kill nobody. I know. You programmed your followers to do it for you. Come on, Bugliosi. Come on! I had no influence over them kids. Their parents had them way before I did. Your schools had them up by the throat. Your TVs and your movies. Oh, but look at you over there. Trying so hard to believe. That, oh, I, I had all the influence over them kids. I showed them the way back to themselves. That's all. You control those kids and you know it. Way back to themselves and yeah, for this. Yeah, I know they would die for me for this, but I didn't ask nobody to kill for me. You see, your kids, they came to me with all your disease already up inside their head. How do you feel about that? Huh? That's right. Your kids, the ones you threw away. Well, these outcasts, they come to me and I do what? I free them. How terrible I free them from society, their parents, I free them from themselves, you dispose of them, I pick them up by the roadside, and I say to them, you listen now, whatever you do for your brothers and sisters is good, as long as you do it with a good thought, that's right, do as your love tells you to do, oh, but I see now, you, you can't see that as being love, can you, no, you, you gotta call that dirty, you gotta say, oh, that's dirty, oh, my child, my child is a, is a criminal, my child is a, Crook, my child, my child, oh, it's not my child. Well, that's why they come to me. That's why they stay. And that's why they would die for me. Well, I think they're all going to get their wish, Charlie. And you're going to lead the way. Well, there are plenty more coming, Bulios. You see? And it don't really matter when you kill me. Because I'll always be around. You see, ready to pull them back in. Now. That's right. Take me to the gas chamber right now. Say, get in there and sit down, son. Give us your life again, and there will still be someone just like me who will reach out and pull your children from the garbage heap that you made for them. You! You remember that. You see, the world better remember that when they're feeding them, when they're drunk on their blood, man. The world better remember that when their children come after them with knives. You! You remember that. You'll stay isolated from the general population from now on. You'll be safe. Are you going to be okay facing Manson in court? Are you still in love with him? Some of the things he said were true. But he is really good at taking the truth and making a lie out of it. I guess I'll go. You need anything else? No. What did you name your son? Angel. Do you have a family? Kids? You have a nice life. Yeah, I do. You will too, Linda. When this is all done, you can start over. You'll be free. <laughs>